In this lesson, you will learn about equivalent fractions. So we have a fraction such as one third. We can find other fractions that it's equal to, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to actually multiply by one. I'm going to represent one by this, this box. One as a fraction is any number over itself, such as two over two. Two, two out of two pieces of pizza is the entire pizza. So we're multiplying this by one. We're not changing the value, but we're changing what it looks like. So if we multiply one times two, we get two, and three times two is six. So one third is the same as two sixths. And I can show that real quickly. If we have one third colored in, I can change these from thirds to sixths simply by splitting each one in half. Now I have six piece, pieces all together and two of the pieces are colored in. So two sixths is the same amount of pizza as one third. I can take that two sixths and I can multiply that by a different one. I'll say we multiply that by three over three. If I multiply two six times three over three, I get six over 18. So if I were to split each of these parts up into three more pieces, I would have six pieces here out of 18 total. Let's do another example. Let's try something like four fifths. If I want to rename four fifths, I can simply multiply by one. Um, I can choose any number I want. Four over four is one because four out of four is one. Four fifths times four over four is 16 over 20. So four fifths and 16 twentieths is the same amount written in a different format. I can do something like nine over 18. I can actually divide by one as well. Any number divided by one is that same number. So I know that nine will divide nine and 18. It has to be the same numerator and denominator. Nine over nine is one whole. And if I do that division, nine divided by nine is one. 18 divided by nine is two. So nine eighteenths and one half are the same amount. And if you think about it, nine is half of 18. Nine eighteenths is equal to one half. They are equivalent fractions. Two sixths and six eighteenths are equivalent fractions. They name the same amount. That's the end of our lesson on equivalent fractions.